you know, fix the Senate, save America. There are so many things to fix in the United States Senate. Uh, how do you how do you begin? I, I would like to begin with uh, proportional representation. None of this two per state, but that's uh, we're a long way off from getting that done. And the Senate's going to get worse. I mean, we have to mm -hmm. consider that, Lawrence. That um, before long, it's become uh, going to become even less representative of the country as a whole. But right now, we're uh, in a moment where we need triage. And the fact is, if we don't fix the Senate, we can kiss our democracy goodbye. Certainly, the debt ceiling fiasco is a part of it. I think and hope that Mitch McConnell, not for good purposes, but his own malign ones, has given us an opportunity, a little bit of breathing room, to take that reconciliation bill and make it work so we have a big accomplishment, one that will include an enormous set of things for the American uh, public, especially for working class and middle class and poorer people. And then we have to fix that debt ceiling blackmail once and for all. Uh, it's Tom Mann and I, when we wrote uh, uh, more than 10 years ago about what was then uh, an insurgent outlier party, now an obstructionist cult, saw that this was being used for horrible purposes. And there are ways to do that in reconciliation. And third and most important, we've discussed it before, we have to uh, discuss it many times, we need to find a way to restore the filibuster where the burden is on the minority so we can get the things done, starting primarily with democracy reform, but moving on to many, many other things that are just going to be blocked because every single Republican will filibuster and keep them from happening.